What's happening? This is Phil Demmel. You're watching EMG TV. This is Five Minutes with Phil. What is my favorite riff to play live and why? So, Violence put out an EP called uh, Let the World Burn. And uh, the last song I wrote for it musically was a song uh, called Upon Their Cross. And I didn't know, I didn't think it was a violence song when I wrote it. I thought, because I'm writing for numerous different projects, but I was uh, came up with this riff in the jam room with the violence dudes. And I uh, was running through it and I wasn't sure, but uh, it's got a cool tremolo piece and it kind of goes something like this. So it's kind of a slower riff and the tremolo thing I thought was super cool, but you know, you think of violence, you think of these frenetic speeds and I uh, thought it might have been a little too tame for them, but the dudes were so stoked on it and uh, Sean wrote some tremendous lyrics for it and uh, it became a crowd, uh, a live favorite and got goosebumps thinking about it. So, you know, Upon Their Cross, that's my favorite live riff as of right now. What riff should every guitar player know how to play or have or have learned over time? And it's kind of a hard question because I've, I've been brought up in the, you know, started playing guitar in the 70s. So of course you want to, you want to, you want to have a Van Halen riff in there. I have a Van Halen in there, but you know, you also have to have the Sabbath. the war pigs but I think what I'm going with is gonna be a Randy Rhodes riff and it's a uh, crazy train there you go What is my favorite guitar body shape style and why? Um, I've gone over, you know, I've always been a V guy from, I got my first Jackson, I've been playing Jackson since 1984, 85 or something. So, um, been a, a, a V guy. I, I have a, a weird, not really a weird style, but my hand movement, my planned placement is here, and if I play a strat, it's back here, and it just, it's really uncomfortable. So strats, shark fins, um, the ML style uh, have been my favorite, but I have turned to an explorer, extroyer style. My current Jackson uh, signature is a, they call it an extroyer, which is a explorer, destroyer kind of blend. And I don't know if I should say that or not, <laughs> but that's that's the style that it is. It's that it's that body style. So uh, I'm gonna have to you know play in the V now. I've got one right outside, but um, it's it's a mix between the two because the the way that they they sit on me. So most memorable recording studio moment of all time. Ooh. You know, again, I can't narrow this down to one. Uh, I've had recorded quite a bit uh, with the violence guys we've had. You know, the early times we were all in one room. And uh, I remember us doing Eternal Nightmare at the Music Grinder down in LA. And we, we were in there right after Doc and had recorded back for the attack. So they had, you know, the upside down crosses and tape and just all this. We we're just like, holy crap, you know, we're in, in Hollywood recording. And that was a great experience.
Okay, so this question is about being in the studio with my entire repertoire of pedals, and I have them all, and the pedal police knock on the door, and ah, pull it over, you know. We're gonna give you one phone call, you get one pedal this day, you know, so what pedal am I gonna pick? Uh, I have to say that, I don't have to say, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep my, uh, Dunlop has, uh, has a wah, uh, and they've, they put an auto uh, return on it, so you step on it, it's on, and it, and it has a spring on it, so it comes back. So I, I love using the wah, and I'd have to say, you know, the pedals you can, you can add to plugins and everything, but the wah is the one thing that you're really connected to that really flows through your body and feels with. So I'm gonna go with, uh, with my custom Dunlop wah. I honestly, I haven't seen a violence tribute band like, you know, Eternal Nightmare play, you know, but I, there was a, a benefit for Sean Killian when he got, uh, he needed a liver transplant and uh, they, it was called Killian on Command and all the Bay Area and some other people came in to play violence songs and uh, it was really weird watching violence for the first time you know and seeing all these bands from forbidden and death angel and you know defiance and all the local bands come in and and you know eric peterson from testament was there steve Smythe and all, all these local you know giants and uh chuck and zet so i that is what i've witnessed and and it it was really such a cool moment to to see them all come together and do that but you know there's you know, not enough people really come to see violence anyways. They're certainly not going to go see a violence tribute band, so there you go. Have I ever met a Phil Dimmel impersonator? Um, I've, I've got some doppelgangers out there for sure, uh, but I haven't met anybody have I, I've, I've, online. There has been some impersonators, yes. Uh, that's how I found out about Twitter in the first place was somebody, oh yeah, I follow you on Twitter. And it's like, I'm not on, I'm not on fucking Twitter, you know? So it's so there have been some impersonators in that sense. I've seen somebody dress up as me for Halloween or something. And and uh, so, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. I'm easy to do, you know? Just camo shorts, black t-shirt, a beanie, and a ponytail, and you're good to go.